Hello and welcome to Sellermate.ai's YouTube channel. Whether you're an individual seller or an agency managing multiple clients, we've got the tools you need to succeed. Today, we will learn about search term automation. You can add high-performing search terms as new keywords, or add to negative the irrelevant ones. Auto campaign search terms, auto campaign product targets, and manual search terms will be considered in this search term rule. To check other videos on automation and dayparting rules, click on the link below. To access automation, head over to the automation tab in the top navigation bar or sidebar. This is where we can create and manage automation strategies. Click on Create Automation Rule to get started. Select Search Term and start by giving your automation a name, like Search Term Rule. This will help you easily identify it later. Now, we will set trigger conditions and actions. If Add Purchase is greater than 2 and ACOS is less than 15%. Then, we will select the action type add to the same campaign and ad group. You can set a custom bid for phrase and exact. This means that if the condition is met, then the search term will be added as a target in same campaign and ad group. Note that this action will only perform on manual search terms. You will soon be able to add the good performing search term as target to multiple campaigns. You have option to keep auto execute on. Now, add condition box. Else if, click, is, greater than, 50. And, ACOS, is, greater than, 100%. Then, we will select the action type. Add to negative by selecting negative exact. This means that if the condition is met, then the search term will be added as a negative exact in the same campaign and ad group. To simplify it, you can make them two different rules separately. You have the option to auto execute here. If you select on the toggle, the rule will be executed automatically without human intervention. To avoid it, you can create your own automation strategy and check if your conditions are valid in preview and manually execute it from the new tab in automation alerts and log section. Now, set a look back period for any number of days. Here we are going for 14 days. The look back period is the time period for which we want to evaluate the data for creating the rule. You can exclude any number of days also from here if you want to. The next step is to set a rule schedule. You can either select all days or any custom days of the week. Now, select campaigns to automate. By clicking on the select campaign button, you can select from the list of campaigns. You can also directly search your campaign, select portfolio or apply filters like sponsored ad types, targeting type, and status to narrow down the list of campaigns. Lastly, you can exclude search terms or keywords that you don't want to include in this rule. Click Preview and have a look at the outcomes of the rule before creating the rule. Once you've finalized your settings, click Create Rule. Your strategy is now live and can be managed in your automation section. If you ever need to make changes, you can deactivate or activate the rule from the toggle button here. Also, you can edit, duplicate, or delete your saved automation rules from this list. Once you are done creating the rule, you can go to the new tab in automation alerts and logs and have a look at it there. And that's it. With search term automation, you're equipped to manage search terms and keywords. Our expert team is always here to assist you at support at sellermate.ai. Haven't tried sellermate.ai yet? Start your free trial today. Thank you for watching and happy selling. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to sellermate.ai.